Hey, what is going on, everybody? My name is Zach. Thank you guys so much for tuning back into the channel and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. In today's video, we are going to be checking out the upgraded semi automatic pistols here in Red Dead Online. These are some really sweet pistols. People say that this is better than the Mauser pistol, and we're going to be here to figure it out in this video. I'm going to do a semi auto versus Mauser pistol comparison video uh, later on here on the channel, but for now, we're just going to be playing with this weapon in my upgraded weapon series. I have this weapon enabled with improved rifle barrel um and so we're just gonna check it out see what type of you know kills we can get in showdown i think it's gonna be pretty good as you guys can see the accuracy closing in on this weapon the uh the bloom isn't too bad it closes in pretty much as fast as the lichfield would i think this weapon's gonna be really effective with dead eye so we're gonna check it out in this video um if at any point you guys do go on to enjoy i am giving away some free gold bars here in red that online i want to see if i can just slap that guy all right gotcha gotcha son it actually wow it, it tanked my honor for that i had max honor this guy tried to punch me and it just took my honor away but if you guys want to win some free gold bars here and read that online all you guys need to do is check out the gleam.io link down in the description subscribe to the channel and drop a like on this video i would greatly appreciate it guys thank you guys so much for tuning in and let's get into the gameplay we are spawning right in ladies and gentlemen we got our semi-auto pistol here fully upgraded we're gonna see what type of damage we can do with this bad boy i have a feeling we can get some good kills that guy actually just he had never without one he just ate that pistol headshot that was that was pretty funny i'm curious to see what it's gonna be like using these pistols in showdown because i'm not super confident using the pistols but they may actually pose an advantage in showdown just because of the fact that it's so quick to aim down your sights with these little bad boys it's like they're they're really like stealth killers that didn't exactly prove our example right here but this guy will i bet just eight yes oh my god he got killed right then i'm really curious to see what we can do this game we'll probably need to do another game just to test it out but it seems like so far this thing's not too bad people say that the semi-auto is better than the mauser which I, i'm gonna have to agree with the thing is the range that's the problem the range is not that good on this thing most pistols the range isn't good um so i think you're gonna have better luck using this on a close quarters map maybe tumbleweed necessarily isn't the best map to start using this pistol on and trying to kill people from long range like i am but if you can get up kind of close to someone i think you're going to be able to do better than if you're using say like a lichfield repeater for example now that just has to do with this weapon's ability to get headshots. But I'm curious to see what this pistol's like, just in terms of damage as well. The damage isn't too bad. Like getting body shots does take a decent amount of health off of someone. But the thing is, I, like I can't even lock onto a guy with dead eye from right there, which is the problem. Oh, can I? He's like standing behind that thing. There we go, we got him. All right, nice, nice. Let's stick around this area because we're gonna be able to be in close quarters for some reason my dead eye just did not activate right there it took a moment we have another guy up here right by the tents so we're gonna go and attack you as well we can pop that headshot i think hanging out around this area as long as you're forcing players to be close quarters to you like this it may be pretty beneficial to use a pistol i didn't really think about it but uh oh Oh my god, look at that kill, guys. Look at that kill. Ooh, shit. Okay, alright. Maybe using the semi-auto is a little bit better than I thought. I didn't know how good it would be. The thing is, I'm just worried about the range still on this weapon. I'm not confident in the range. But, for everything else, like, you see this guy? You could just spam the Deadeye trigger at their head, and you're good to go. So I think that's... It's better to kind of spray and pray with this pistol and Deadeye. I think I've figured out the use there's another guy up here we want to make sure he doesn't see us and snipe us so we're just gonna do that there you go bam you're dead buddy look at that we're getting close to kind of winning this game so let's see what we can do in the final two minutes I'm gonna run back over here we have a, a two-pointer not bad no dude we were in mid dive I was about to turn on that kid so hard but he was able to get me now we're kind of reset. We're going back to uh, no dead eye. So I think you probably want to take a tonic when you're using something like this, just so you have a full dead eye core. Where did this guy go? Okay, there we go. That's some good dead eye for us. That is some good dead eye. Nice, nice. There is an eight pointer and a 25 pointer. What? Oh, baby. 
Okay, we're not gonna get that guy. He has us pinned down. I don't even wanna leave this little tent now because he has the aim on us. So let's just be careful. Uh, is he still up there? It doesn't, oh, it, he, he is still up there. I don't think he sees us though. Oh yeah, he sees us. Never mind. Oh boy. Uh oh. Bro, get the headshot. Yes, look at that, dude. Okay, I want to get out of here. I don't trust that guy. He's probably going to shoot us in the back. That's why I'm going to run and get out of here as quick as I can. Let's see. Oh, can we get up this hill? Yes, we can, baby. All right, this is good. This is good. This is good, guys. I like this. 30 seconds left in the match. We need to do a second game with this weapon because I joined in this one a little bit late. I actually don't even know where I am right now. There's... Oh, I was like way in the back of the map. That's why. Okay. So this is the normal spawn. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't going to take him out. That's tough. So range is definitely the worst thing about this weapon, but otherwise using a pistol in online is really sweet in my opinion. Oh, nice. Nice. All right, final kill. So we didn't win the game. And it looks like, yeah. So we got, it's 247 to 339. I want to see how we did though. And then we can kind of see what we need to do differently next match. Did we just blue screen? Oh my God, my game's frozen. Oh my God. Nope, we didn't. Okay, 21 and four, not bad for our first time using a semi-automatic pistol for a showdown match. We're gonna jump into the next game so we can compare scores and then I can give you guys some follow-up tips on using this weapon. And I did play second. So that guy was like way ahead of me here. Did he do better than me? Yeah, he had a better KD than me. We both did really, really well. He was using some other weapon. He's a level 244 anyway, but I came in second place and he came in first. Game number two, we're on Tall Trees, playing Most Wanted, another free-for-all mode, which is really good. I'm excited. This is going to be interesting using the semi-automatic pistol on this map. Let me know down in the comments right now, before this game even gets underway, if you guys think I'm going to win this match. I think I could pull it off, although I only have like 28 express rounds left in my pistol. But you know what, we can make it work. We have some left in the other pistol. We'll probably have to use high velocity next. It's, it's interesting. You kind of end up spamming this thing when you go into Deadeye, which, again, is, like, the way to use this pistol, I think. Uh-oh. 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 Where are you? No! He had never without one, bro! Oh, you're killing me, Smalls. Okay, we don't have that much ammo left now in the semi-automatic at all. We have, like, two magazines left. I'm gonna go headshot you. I think... Did, did he kill that guy? No, he didn't. Oh, man. So this thing, am I... It's like this first shot isn't connecting as a headshot. Oh no, that was just... I should have I should have activated Deadeye right there. Alright, let's keep a move on here. We got eight bullets left of express ammo. Pretty much out of ammo with this bad boy. Moving on to high velocity next. But that's okay. Oh my god, that's dirty. I wonder what weapon that guy's using. Because if he's using the varmint rifle, he should have gotten a shot off me in that amount of time. But maybe he was using a Lancaster, and if you can ADS faster than a Lancaster, then this weapon automatically becomes more valuable. Okay, what? Okay, I definitely, definitely, definitely headshotted that guy a couple times right there. I was able to pop his hat off, but I wasn't able to get any other any of the other headshots. It seemed like he was kind of crouching back and forth, doing some weird shit. So maybe that's why. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I need to switch to high velocity. Okay. High velocity in my semi-auto. Let's try it out. Maybe we'll even do better with high velocity. We'll have to see. I would imagine something like that. Man, it's like this weapon's a two-shot kill for some reason when you go into Deadeye. Maybe I'm just not dropping the headshot. But it just allows me to trigger spam, which is the better part. Okay, no. This weapon is still a one-shot to the head. I just haven't been getting headshots. Um, I've been trying, but I, for some reason I haven't been locking onto the head like that. I've been getting close, but just not enough, it looks like. Oh my god! Sit down, son. You were just spanked. Somebody get that guy some toothpaste. His head just got shot the f*** up. I want to move up to this wagon here. There's a guy right here. Oh my god, we're barely alive. We need to take a health tonic. Why am I back to express rounds? I want my high velocity rounds. Since I was using express at the start of this game, it's auto-loading those into my gun. But I want to use high velocity instead now. That's something that's got to be fixed. 
Ooh. Come on. Yeah, that's a headshot. I was nervous he was going to get me. He was getting close. Um, I don't know what weapon he was using. He may have been using the Lichfield or the Lancaster. I need to start judging people's weapon sounds when they're shooting at me. So I can learn what weapons they're using against me before I die and know if I should, you know, attack a situation or not. I should know when to back off of a gunfight, which I have a good grasping of in this game, but I still can't tell by the weapon sounds. Like in Call of Duty, it's pretty distinct what weapon people are using. But in this game, everything is just like, it's, they all, all the weapons sound so real, which is a great thing. It's just, it's, it's tough to judge situations that way on if someone has like a, a shotgun and you should back off and get away from them or whatever you should do. Where are all the enemies? Okay, there's an eight pointer up here. Got that nice eight point buck waiting for us. Ha <laughs> ha, give me that dome, boy. Two and a half minutes left in the match, 93 to 136. If I can kill this guy right here. Are these people just not playing? What's going on? Both of those people were like AFK. This guy's playing right here. So I'm just take him down. We have a 21 pointer over here. This guy's major. If we can push up this way. This is going to be some big points for us. But where, oh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? He's going to be at the top of the hill. I don't see him. He may kill us. Uh-oh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh my god. This is bad, dude. I'm stuck behind rocks. Oh my gosh. This guy just died. Hold up. There's a guy right here. Got him. Okay. That made me nervous. I didn't get the 21 pointer, but there's a level not or a nine pointer right here. Nice. I think there's another 21. There's an 18 right here. We need to make sure we get this kill before this guy pops up level three behind us. I think we can go without Deadeye. Dude! Oh, okay. I was going to say that had to have been a headshot right there. This weapon is pretty effective in showdown. Oh my god, dude, look at the look at the people. They're all looking at me. I just got triple teamed in free for all. I was in the middle of a three-way gunfire fight. Holy moly, guys. This game is pretty good. I think oh my god, we're in the lead right now. We need to come out with the win. You know what? Since we have a little bit of time left, let's use a snake oil. We have 40 seconds. I think we can survive for the rest of this match. If we can use our Deadeye effectively and we run into some people. We just dropped into second place. It looks like some guy got a ton of points off of us. If we can find one good spawn over here. Okay, 22 points. We need to go for this guy. We need to commit. We need to try. I'm not gonna... Oh my god, we got him. <gasps> We're in the lead. Four points in the lead with 15 seconds to go, guys. There's an enemy up here. Oh, we got him. We got him. That He was only 1.7 seconds left. Come on, guys. We got to hold the lead. If this guy gets one kill in this amount of time, we're not going to win the match. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, my God. We just pulled it off. Yes. Let's go, baby. Everyone needs to drop a like right now. Check out the semi-automatic pistol, guys. I think it's better than the Mauser. We're going to judge that in a different video. We're going to do like a Mauser versus semi-automatic pistol. 24 and 7. The other match, we went 21 and 4. So we got three more deaths, but we also got three more kills. Uh, this was fantastic. My biggest tips... Obviously, this weapon is great if you're battling NPCs in free roam and you're hunting and doing whatever. In showdown, it's a little bit inaccurate of a weapon if you're going to rapid fire without Deadeye. Oh, wow. That guy came very close. Wow. Five less point, five less kills, but four less points. Crazy stuff. We got paid $40 for that match, 660 XP. So, yeah. Um, if you're going to be using this weapon in showdown to try and compete with people, you got to use Deadeye. That's probably the biggest tip. So make sure you have some snake oils that you either bought or crafted. Tonics are 25% off now, uh, just for a little bit of time. So definitely cop them while you can. If you don't want to craft them, they are going to be a little bit cheaper. So thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to win some free gold bars and read that online, my February giveaway is still going on. I'm announcing the winners at the end of the month. But if you guys want to take part in this, all you guys need to do is check out the gleam.io link down in the description to officially enter. Subscribe to my channel, drop a like on today's video, and comment in the comment section down below what you guys would spend those gold bars on if you were to win the giveaway. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video and hanging out with us today. And I hope to see you guys in a new Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.